Hello guys, my name is Nick from Nick's Toy Garage and today I'm here with this Majorat Mercedes 190E 2.3 liter 16 valve. This is one of my well, 6.5 million dream cars, but it's it's pretty high up there. But top 100,000, definitely. So, there it is in all its brown and broken glory. Let's take a closer look at it. As you can see, the paint is well. It's it's brown, and, and I don't like well, it's brown. Um, the wheels are a little shaved up, but the bottom is in pretty good shape. There is a lot of clay on there for some reason. Not sure why. And this is the back of the car. So the doors uh, both open, and the interior is absolutely filthy. You wouldn't want to sit in that anytime soon in real life. So let's drill out the rivet, and meanwhile, uh, let's. Uh, this is actually the quickest rivet I ever drilled out. It's literally popped out in a femtosecond. So taking this thing apart, we can see the interior just lifts right out, and there we have the classic Majorette uh, spring system. Just take out the little U spring, and both axles just fall out. Now I have the time to talk to you guys. I have uh, two days um, uh, behind my back from my new job and I absolutely love my new job. I'm a sales advisor at a local, not really local, at a giant car firm here in Belgium. So uh, that was uh, me filling in some uh, silent uh, space in this video. Now let's get back to our regular program in the sand blasting cabinet. This is, I should have actually put my um, little silent filling thingy right here, but oh well. This is by far the most satisfying thing of every restoration. This sandblasting cabinet is pretty much my best investment for this channel so far. It literally cuts my uh, restoration time by over an hour because that paint stripper, it was horrible and it smelled so bad. So as you can see the paint just flies off, that's the way I like it, and it's just just good enough that, that, that the model does not get damaged, even the little details, the Mercedes logo, the 190E and 2.3 16 valve engine, not engine, uh, symbol on the back don't get damaged. So let's fast forward to the base. You don't actually see it uh, in this part of the video, but all the clay and all the... Well, it, it actually just looks brand new. I'm gonna show you that in the last scene right before the reveal. But it just looks brand new. So, uh, let's get to primer. For primer, I'm using a fine surface primer by Tamiya in white. Two coats in total. That's one with the doors closed, leaving 15 to 20 minutes to dry. And the second coat, it's with the doors open, so I can get inside the door jams, which is pretty important. Again, leaving 15 to 20 minutes to dry between coats. Now, quick little uh, self plug, if you want to send me anything to unbox in a future unboxing video, please go to the description down below, there is my... A YouTube email address you can always send me a mail right there so that's the self-promotion over let's get back to a regular scheduled program so for color I'm using a dark ish blue uh, from Tammy I forgot the coat from it but it's just a blue uh, doing three coats in total one with the doors closed and two with the doors opens again to paint in the door jams and I finally, well, my paint airbrush, it's working perfectly again. I'm so happy. The second one I bought is still in the box because I just don't need it yet. Then, my uh, all my second favorite part of every video is the fine details. Not that much fine detail in this car, just the four door handles. Uh, two on every side of the car, because maybe you didn't know, I, uh, what am I saying? It's late again. Oh, well, after the door handles are painted in, I take my toothpick and paint in the Mercedes logo, the 2.3 16 valve logo, and the 190E. Next, let's take my dry toothbrush and uh, to br brush off the dirt, I guess, and then off camera, take my uh, soapy water and just clean out the interior. 
after it's cleaned, I take my fine surface primer. This is for metal and plastic. That my fine voice cracked. Beauty is finally hitting me. And we do two coats in total. So we can get an even coverage. And I forgot to uh, record the actual painting of the interior. But I painted it black. Yeah, that black. Now this is actually my uh, new method for wheels. Not sure if it works. But I just gave it a shot. And it looks quite good then painting in the taillights you can see the black interior which i forgot to record you noticed you know, i know you noticed just both taillights in the lovely red i could have just taped them off but i forgot oh well then the window is actually in pretty good shape but well let's take my rack let's take my uh, polish and just put on some elbow grease and just get them shiny again he also just ordered that uh, floor thingy polish uh, product so I can actually shine up my windows to perfect condition. Then I didn't want to change out the wheels on this model so I just decided to repaint them and make them look like new again. And I have to say they really suit this uh, model. Then the reassembly, we're, all, we're already here, the last step. There you can see, no, not yet, just you need to turn it around Nick. Well, you'll see in a bit. I'm just placing in the wheels and axles again. Also, I took out the hairs from the front axle. Really important. Didn't show it off cam on camera because it, it, it's gross. It's really gross. <clears throat> then uh, let's uh, reattach this little spring. So let's place it and uh, let's snap it back into place under these two tabs. And when uh, Pastnik is smart enough, he will turn around this uh, base plate. Just turned around almost. Oh, there we go. And look, look at that. That's like new. That is why I love my sandblasting cabinet. Now let's take the model itself. Place in the front, the windshield and the headlights. Next, let's place the interior. The black interior with a red underside. I know. Nobody will see. Then let's reattach the base. Just slide in the back and snap in the front. And then off camera I drilled out the post where the rivet was attached. And I just take my uh, self tapping screw and screw the base to the actual uh, body of the car. So this is a yet another restoration complete. Uh, please leave your opinion in the comment section down below. So without further ado let's take a look at this model before the restoration right here when it was still brown in case you forgot with a wet interior and after about a couple hours of restoration let's take a look at it after so please leave a like subscribe and hope to see you in a future video bye